In the impact segment tonight, blurring the line between church and state at public schools. That's exactly what one teacher said was happening at a Minnesota charter school that caters to Muslims. So the State Department of Education looked into it and found two problems, including communal prayers for the students. When a local news crew went to the school to report on this controversy, they were confronted by two men who tried to wrestle their camera away. The question, are they trying to hide something? Joining us now from Chicago is Ahmed Rehab, who is a spokesperson for the Council on American-Islamic Relations. Ahmed, great to see you. Thank you very much. Good to be on. Um, Ahmed, I'm thinking about, let's say, a, a charter school that exists that um, is housed in the same building as a Catholic school and shares property with Catholic relief services, Catholic charities, let's say. And I'm thinking about Catholic prayers uh, after school and school buses being delayed for those prayers. And I think to myself, oh my goodness, the ACLU and the Americans for Separation, United, you know, Separation of Church and State would go ballistic over this. So what's the difference here? Let me tell you, I think the, uh, I reckon, uh, the O'Reilly factor must be having a really slow news day because there's really no controversy here whatsoever. You guys are making a mountain out of a mole. Um, basically, there were allegations leveled against the school. There was a pending investigation by a neutral entity, uh, an objective entity, that is the investigative team uh, by the uh, uh, State Department of Education. And the results of that investigation found only two minor violations, nothing major, nothing of the sort that was described in the segment. And so there is no problem. And well, what, wait, school, well, hold on, hold on, Ahmed. What, what are you saying was described incorrectly in the lead up to this story? It was factual. They have been investigated. A reporter, a columnist from the Minneapolis Star Tribune, Catherine Kirsten, who we hope to get on the show, she went to try to interview the school officials. She has been uh, the subject of a vicious campaign, including calls for her firing as a columnist just because she has some questions about the way the school operates. My question is, if this were a Catholic uh, charter school, which again, it has to be non-sectarian, and a Catholic church with Catholic charities housed in the same property, I think everyone would be asking questions and legitimately so. I don't think it's anti-Muslim. I think it's just factual. Well, let me tell you, there were questions asked and asked by the right entity, the Department of Education's investigative team, and they provided answers. And in their answers, there was no such issuing of a problem or a, a description of a problem that the school was housed in a religious establishment. There were only two problems mentioned. One is the Friday prayer. The other is the use of the school bus uh, for right, religious well, activity. Right. Friday and, prayer and both, is a pretty big deal. I mean, I well, mean you, well, students, well, students me in you. schools across the United States and parents have hoped to be able to have a moment of silence in public schools. The Supreme Court said we couldn't do that. So the idea that you just say, oh, it's just prayers, that was no big deal, that actually is a big deal in, in the Supreme Court jurisprudence that uh, is the law of the land. Listen, every day there are entities out there, companies or schools that are found to be in minor violations of certain laws. Uh, once investigations uh, are pending and once they're done, uh, the schools are notified or the entities. And in most cases, including in this case, they are more than willing to comply. And so there is no issue here. Well, if, uh, Ahmed, they, if there's nothing going on, the then why attack the cameramen? Why have individuals wrestle a camera to the ground? Why the I'll vitriol? Second, hold on, Ahmed, hold on. Why the vitriol against Catherine Kirsten? Why not open up the school and say, Come on in, Minneapolis Star Tribune, the KTSP, the, the television network. Come on in, you know, I, welcome. We open our doors to you. What are they trying to hide? Why are they going after reporters, columnists, and television crews? To me, that looks paranoid. No, I'll be glad to answer that. First of all, let me just state to you that Assistant Education Commissioner Morgan Brown has stated that the school um, uh, staff and board of directors have been very accommodating and, and very compliant. Catherine Kirsten with can't get an interview. She cannot get an interview. Let me now answer your other two questions. First of all, in regards to the uh, so called interview that they tried to carry with the school on the grounds, the cameras attacked the grounds without further notification or, or prior notification. I think it is basic journalistic ethics. Wrestling the cameraman to the ground? You, he you had to get medical help. You don't in a playground, Laura, and you know that very well, right. unless well, you have two permission imams found from the school, school or from now. the parents. Yeah, well, I okay, mean... Okay, and so they were trespassing. What do you do with trespassers? You hand them a bouquet of roses? They were trespassing on private ground. Well, this is a charter school and uh, funded by the taxpayers, so this is not private property. That's the big and problem And it won an here. award for, for its finance for it. management. 2000 Mr. finance Rahab, award we're running out of time, but we really, we really do appreciate your joining us.